What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, all right? We'll explain everything later, but uh, we're back with another video, and in this video, we're gonna be going to Paper Cola, which is one of my favorite anime shops in the San Gabriel Valley, and they have an assortment of different anime uh, stuff, a bunch of, like, not-so-common anime merchandise, uh, which is one of the big reasons why I go here, and they have a lot of Hollow Life stuff, which is something that I'm into, but... I know the big question is where I've been. Um, I haven't uploaded in like a month and I apologize for that. Um, we've just been very, very busy with school, um, but I should be able to get a bit more videos out more frequently. I can't guarantee it'll be like every week, but um, I'm adjusting my work schedule so I should have more time to upload videos. So there is that. But for the question of the day, let me know. Um, if there's any anime or manga that you guys have been picking up lately or yeah i mean what have you guys been getting lately because i haven't you know been here in a while so let me know in the comments below uh, me personally i've read monster uh Surizuri children and i'm currently reading fire punch um fire punch is mm, kind of weird i might drop it to be honest but Surizuri children and monster really really good would highly highly recommend it so yeah here we are at the paper cola shop um i think i've shown you guys this before but they just have an assortment of different uh, items and plushies that you normally wouldn't find and it's one of my favorite stores like i said over here they have like the little kirby figures over there and earlier you saw they had a bunch of plushies from like data live um spy family and i think there was a uh, the Tsukahime um figure there as well which i was thinking of getting but I'm not the biggest Tsukahime fan, um, not like I used to be at least. I haven't even played the visual novel that came out, so yeah. Um, but in this video, you're gonna see me uh, go for two Ichiban Kujis. Um, we went for the Hollow Life cooking set and then the Natsume's Book of Friends one that should be later on in the video with some live commentary. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that. But over here is a bunch of plushies again. Uh, from like Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff like that. They have a Genshin Impact session section for uh, all of you Genshin Impact fans as well. Uh, the prices here, they're pretty, I wouldn't say they're like super high, but they are a bit expensive. So um, if, you're, if you come here, just be prepared to spend money because every time I come here, I'm not prepared to spend what I spend and I end up, you know, kinda going through it <laughs> but yeah, uh, over here, Hollow Life section, uh, pretty much the section that I always check over here. Uh, they had some of the uh, Weiss Schwartz training cards, um, some acrylic stands as well, uh, some keychains there. You saw the Marin one, uh, the Aqua one over there as well. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the keychains just because I'm not really a rubber strap guy. Um, I'm more of an acrylic keychain type of guy, so there is that. More Hollow Life stuff over here. A camera wasn't really focusing today, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of things that you normally wouldn't see. Um, I believe this is, I forgot which Japanese convenience store. Uh, I think it's Lawson. I think this is like the Lawson collab, and you can see they have Suisse, uh, Miko, Roboco there as well. Um, I don't know who that is, but um, yeah. And then they had some of this Watame uh, merchandise as well. Um, anyways, uh, moving on to like some of the anime that I've been watching as well as we look at the doujin art books here um, Pretty much just been keeping up with uh, skip and loafer um, keeping up with um, I forgot what the other one was Yamada Yamada level 999 I'm definitely gonna read the manga for those after because I thought they're really good Especially skip and loafer and then for the upcoming anime season I'm not really sure what to watch leave it in the comments below if there's anything that I should be excited about I do know that there's Jujutsu Kaisen I believe uh, if I'm not mistaken which we will be watching um, There's also that love live spin-off anime um, for Yohane, which I'll probably be checking out um, and then yeah, I don't really know what else is coming in the summer, so let me know in the comments below. But yeah, as you can see, they also have these doujin art books here as well, which is another unique feature of this store because um, doujin art books you don't usually find. And um, over here, they have an assortment of Hollow Live ones, Genshin Impact ones, um, and I'm not sure what the rest are, but I, I, if you saw it, you saw it. Um, if you're a fan of those, uh, you probably recognized it. 
And then in this glass case is usually like trading cards and like they're more valuable items. As you can see, they had this we say plushie right here, which I personally have. I got it from this store and they have all of these like, you know, pretty rare items and they look really good, um, pretty expensive, but you know, it is what it is. Um, over here, some more Hololive plushies and then they have the Pokemon training cards here as well um, some booster boxes and then some trainer boxes as well i just like that the store has a huge variety of stuff and whenever i go in if i don't go in too often there's usually like a bunch of new things for me to look at over there um, i think i looked over on their instagram uh like a couple hours ago actually at the time of this recording and they had like some new hollow life shikishi boards and they did have a suise one which i was thinking of buying but it's also 35 dollars and it's pretty small so uh, I don't I don't I don't know if I should buy it. So yeah uh, over here more Pokemon stuff uh, Pokemon cards um, and all of that um, And over here is like the bargain section where you can find just assorted items here as well um, I'm planning on going to anime expo as well this year um, on Monday the third and maybe the fourth probably not the fourth probably just going Monday the third just one day this year because the prices are so insanely expensive um I mean like it was 180 something for like a four-day pass which is crazy because last year I paid like I think it was 80 bucks total for the four-day pass so yeah pretty like disappointing but you know they took out the premiere pass so it's I guess they have to recoup their money somehow but I will be there on day three so um, if you see me, uh, say hello, because I'll probably be out there. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'll probably make a video on it as well. Hopefully I can get it out the same day that I record um, so that, you know, it's pretty much like as close to as when it was recorded as possible. If not, I'll get that video out eventually. Um, let's just hope it's not too late because of school. But yeah, over here, Sanrio section, they always have this. Um, and then they have like an assortment of other anime here as well but it's mostly a Sanrio section they have like a bunch of plushies a bunch of bags a bunch of buckets acrylic stands notebooks pens just the whole assortment of stuff over here um, they even have glasses as well which was pretty cool and then those mini figures in the back as well um, but yeah uh, let me know if anyone's going to anime expo uh, I'd love to you know see y'all there and let me know if you have any plans of like buying any merch there as well um and then over here is a bunch of posters um they had that card captor soccer one there and they had this hosho marin one right here from her i i forgot if it was like her subscriber special type of thing or something like that but yeah um and then a bunch of bags over here um but as you can see we're here for the ichiban kuji set uh, the cooking set um, I was really hoping that I would get something from like Marin aqua I wouldn't even mind a Subaru one as well um, or even a Miko one but yeah my girlfriend decided to pull first and she did get number 17 number 17 I believe um, was a tapestry no it was this minifigure right here um, and she got Botan uh, haven't really watched Botan so I don't know. I thought it was cool. Uh, she hasn't really watched Botan either, so uh, there was that. And then I decided to pull, as you can see, Suisei plushie in the bag always. Um, and I got uh, number 34, which was a mini acrylic stand of Polka. Um, Polka's not bad. Okay, so I'm going back to Paper Cola. It's like three or four days later, maybe five. Um, and they have a new Ichiban Kuji, and it's for Natsume's Book of Friends, which is one of my favorite series. I think it's a $15 play, so I'm gonna go roll like once or twice, maybe three times if I don't get anything I want. Uh, and we're just gonna see if we get anything. <laughs> yeah, so right here is everything that's there. I really want this thing. I hope it's still available. It's like a merry-go-round figure. They have this plushie, which looks pretty funny. Um, they have some containers and cups. Um, this is a blanket, which I would not be mad about. And then they have some keychains and stuff over here. And then the last prize is like this Natsume or this Nyanko Sensei plush where like you pull this tab and like his tail comes off. And I don't know if I'll get that, but I'm hoping to get this. 
or this or the blanket. I, I wouldn't be mad at th this. Uh, the rest are okay. The, the keychains look cute though. Okay, so the Hollow Live one is almost done. And the grand prize is like a light up acrylic stand. Hopefully I can camp and get it. Uh, I'm not gonna spend everything. There's like 15 tickets left, but we're here for the Natsume one. People have already pulled for it and they've gotten some of the lower tier prizes. So hopefully I can get the higher tier prizes. So here I am uh, coming back a couple days later and I'm pulling for the Natsume Ichiban Kuji set. Like I said, I really wanted that merry-go-round thing, but it turned out it was like a jewelry box. It was like a jewelry box, so I don't know how I would feel if, you know, I pull that, but um, decided to pull, I think it was three tickets here, and then we got the E-Prize, as you can see. Um, the E-Prize, I believe, was like a towel or something, and then I pulled a second one as well. Um, and I think, uh, if I remember correctly, that it was like a, you know, one of those like card passes, like pass holders. Um, it was one of those. So initially I was kind of bummed out because I wasn't able to get, you know, the A prize or, uh, the B prize. And as you can see here, we got a pass holder over there, which looked pretty funny. And then like they had a bunch of different designs over here. I ended up going with the one on the left actually because um, I thought it looked pretty cool and then for the other prize again like I said um, it was a towel and they also had a bunch of different designs there as well as you can see um, Natsume's Book of Friends is like one of my favorite series that I've ever like watched I think it's number three or something um, yeah it's really good would highly recommend watching the anime and then reading the manga because the anime just has like such good pacing and like the soundtrack and everything is really good and the voice acting as well very immersive and would highly highly recommend um watching natsume and then reading it if you enjoyed it like that much like to the level that i did uh, i haven't read the manga yet personally but i've been reading a bunch of different manga so it's it's there on the backlog but i don't think it's a priority considering how much i enjoyed the anime but we ended up going with the towel on the right the sports towel because uh i don't know i might use it more than one of these small towels here these small hand towels or, or at least i thought because I honestly haven't even used it. I haven't even opened it out of the package yet <laughs> since I got it and it's already been like a month since I recorded this. So yeah, we ended up going with the big towel and then uh, my girlfriend also uh, ended up pulling as well. And I ended up pulling a third one cause I'm insane. And yeah, um, this is my girlfriend's pull. Um, she got F, which was I think an acrylic stand. Um, or was it a towel? It was an acrylic standard towel, and then she ended up pulling another one, um, and she got G, which is either, which I think is the acrylic stand. And they had a bunch of different acrylic stands, and they were really cool, and you can actually, like, combine it and make it into, like, a necklace. So, uh, if you wanted to collect everything, you could, but the keychains were, like, really cute, so, uh, I wouldn't have been mad if I pulled a keychain as well. They were really funny. Um, but yeah, uh, she ended up going with the uh, the one with Natsume writing Yanko Sensei, and then I pulled another one and got prize B, and I was really hyped because I ended up getting the plushie. So yeah, it was a pretty good day, and I was very, very happy with my pulls. Okay, uh, so that pretty much does it for the video. A bunch of Natsume stuff, very happy. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'd appreciate all the support. Uh, and yeah, uh, pretty happy with everything we got. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.